Hey all, this is part three, and we're going to debug another function. This one is counting elements above 40. So we're going to debug a function that takes in an array of numbers. This function will iterate over the array's number elements and return a count representing the number of elements whose value is greater than 40. If there are no values above 40, then the function should return zero. Below is an example of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the debugged, assuming that you will have debugged the described function, get elements above 40. So I'm going to grab my stub, bring it over to the REPL, grab my test cases, and bring them over. And the first thing is just run it, because you never know, maybe the bug is that there is no bug. Should log 3, and we get 1, and should log 0, and we get 0. So this one is working, but since this one isn't working, we want to consider that the function probably isn't correct. Probably isn't correct. The function isn't correct, obviously. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, write some pseudocode. So iterate over the input array. And this looks like it means create a count variable set to zero. Uh, if current value is over 40, increment count by one. And the last thing will be return the count. So if I look at this, it seems to be pretty well, like we have all the right elements, right? We're iterating over the array of numbers, we're creating a count variable, we're incrementing that count variable under a condition that seems to be correct, and then we're returning that count variable. So if you have a situation where you're, uh, how would you say this? What you want to do is if count is coming back and count is incorrect, maybe we should log count to the console each time we increment it. So let's go ahead and say console.log uh, our count variable. Mm, let's just do it for one of them. I want to comment out one of the tests just so we have an idea of which one this is applying to. So theoretically, this should go from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 and then return. So let's see what it is. So it's 1 every time. And you might recall that <clears throat> one of the things that we have to do is that if we're creating a count variable inside of a for loop, we're going to be creating a new count variable and reassigning it to 0, overwriting any previous count variables, uh, every time the function iterates again. So we've counted properly because it says three times one, which should be three, but we get one back because we're reassigning count to be zero each time. So the solution is that we're going to remove this from inside of the for loop. We're going to move it outside so that it gets created once at the beginning and then inside is where we would increment it each time. So if we run this one, hopefully we should see something like one, two, three, and then the three returned. We do. Let's go ahead and comment out our other, or uncomment our second test case, and then remove our console.log of count, because we don't really need that anymore. Provided that both tests work, and they do, we have a reasonable assumption that we've completed the function correctly. So this is another common error. People will create their accumulator variable inside of their for loop, which means that it will reassign itself to its initial value, rather than accumulating the values as we want it to. So let's copy our function, bring it back, paste it in, run the tests, and celebrate. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.